as a lot of you guys know not too long ago i added the gopro hero 7 black on my bike to get a nice rider view and to test that new hyper smooth uh, stabilization on it and to test it out to see how i like it and see if i want to go ahead and implement it uh, as a motor vlog camera my main motor vlog camera which you see i added it on my helmet it's my main motor vlog camera now and I wanted to give a review on it in this motor vlog and give the good and bad uh, and whether you should buy it or not. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Before I start the camera review, I wanted to give you an overview of my motor vlog helmet camera setup. This is my Suami MX Tour Dual Sport helmet where I run two cameras. Of course, the GoPro Hero 7 Black at 1080 by 60 frames per second. And I have that attached on the chin bar of this helmet. And I have the uh, GoPro adapter here that allows you to attach an external mic. And also, you can attach a power bank source. And of course, I have the external mic attached there. And I run the lavalier mic underneath helmet padding. But I have these cameras uh, powered by this smart power bank. And I'll tell you guys, this is the best power bank that I have ever had so far. And I've had probably about 20 of them over the years. This is a smart power bank where you can plug the cameras in any one of these ports. It automatically recognizes and issues the correct voltage for the cameras. And I'll tell you, this is amazing. This allows me to record all day long. By the way, links to everything here in the description and comment section of this video or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Camera Stuff. Note, this video is just a basic review for motor vlogging purposes. Yeah, this GoPro Hero 7 Black, I do like it and I haven't really, I haven't had any problems with it. <laughs> this bike is so awesome, man. I, Every time I'm laughing and grinning, every time I ride this bike, and it's such a violent feel to it that it's just, whew, it's ah, <laughs> gets me going, baby. Shake, rattle, and roll. But uh, yeah, this GoPro Hero 7 Black, I like its stabilization. Uh, it's 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 really good, and I like the that it has the ability to switch when it detects low light. It'll switch to the lower frame rate, so that it's not so dark in the videos. Unlike my GoPro Hero 4, I had a GoPro Hero 6 Black, by the way, which I sold. Um, I had issues with that, but the main issue that I had with that. <laughs> Uh, the issue I had with that, which was my fault, is I connected it to a power bank. Like I had this one on a power bank, but I didn't put a battery in it. And uh, it ran good for a while like that, but then it started having some problems. And I called GoPro Hero and they said, yeah, um, you know, if you run a power bank with it without a, uh, a battery, it could run into some issues or whatnot. So that was the main cause. So he said for this GoPro Hero 7 Black, make sure to keep the battery in it when you run it off the power bank, which I'm doing now. And I've been doing it for several motor vlogs now. And uh, it works just fine, man. No problems at all. Um, the Hyper Smooth. And it doesn't seem all oh, that much big of a difference compared to GoPro Hero 6 Black. Pennsylvania is about a couple hours away. So, I mean, these aren't... Uh, places that are that close to me you know what I'm saying it is better but the main issue I have with this camera is that at night if you leave hyper smooth on it looks horrible it looks all uh, looks like it's trying to uh, it's just the video was terrible but now I do I do I understand it man and uh, dual sport light. I'm not a video expert or camera expert or whatnot to give you all the technical terms on what it's exactly doing, but what it's doing, what it looks shitty at night. <laughs> it looks like it's, uh, it's trying to uh, focus right or moving around. Um, it's just, it, it doesn't look clear. It doesn't look good at all with the hyper smooth. Now you have, if you cut the hyper smooth off, the stabilization, then you won't deal with that. 
Face make I said that is really awesome to do. And that can help keep you safe out here. I bet you maybe something happened to him in the past. So when it gets starting to get dark, go ahead and cut that stabilization off. And uh, so that's what you have to do, man, because it just doesn't look good at all to me. As far as the sound, I'm running a mic off of Amazon that I bought. By the way, I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video. The mic that I'm running, which is about $50 or something like that. I forgot the name of Squid Mic or something like that or whatever. <laughs> the Squid Mic. <laughs> the microphone is the only one that I've had. I've bought. I've had a bunch of microphones over the years. I've been motor vlogging since 2012. I've had Chinese ones. I've had very expensive ones. And I've settled on this microphone, external microphone that I have in my helmet that works pretty good with all of my cameras. And uh, like I said, it's about 50 bucks. Um, and it's lasted no problems at all. I've had no issues with it. And uh, I haven't really messed around with the other features. I keep it on currently. This video is being recorded at 1080 by 60 frames per second. I haven't really messed with 4K because it takes up so much data. You know, I use Final Cut Pro X, by the way. And uh, but yeah, I like it, man. I, I like it. The colors, everything. It looks good. This, this is straight out of the camera, guys. This is not. Uh, I didn't add any coloring to it or any any other type of editing to the video because generally I don't have a time that much time to get into doing all that extra editing. So I try to keep it simple and out of the camera. This it looks good. It's just so smooth. I just love this man like I said at night just cut that hyper smooth off but a negative thing another bad thing about this camera and the GoPro Hero uh, 5 and 6 is you have to have this stupid adapter box on the side that uh, in order to connect a what you call it a, a mic an external mic or the uh, power bank um, and this set sucker I think is like $50 for this adapter box which is ridiculous man and uh, that's where they make all their money with all these accessories but one thing I really liked about my GoPro Hero 4 Black that's why I always reverted back to it is because you could attach a power bank from the rear of the camera you didn't have to have this adapter box and uh, the only thing is you don't get the stabilization with the GoPro Hero 4 Black you know but this 7 is, is good so far just cut that hyper smooth off like I said Todd these cars out here Baby. This thing is a beast, man. And I'll tell you guys, the sun has disappeared here in Ohio. <laughs> it's missing in action. That's why I call Cleveland overcast Cleveland. Because the sun just leaves for the winter, the fall and winter. It's very rare that it comes out, man. But that's okay. We get used to it, baby. We got other awesome aspects to Cleveland. <laughs> I love that front wheel. You crank that throttle, baby. Power wheelie really every time, baby. Every time. <laughs> Makes you feel real good. Woo! But yeah, guys, GoPro Hero 7 Black, thumbs up. Like I said, link to get the camera and some of the other stuff in the description and comment section of this video. If you want to get my gear, you know, these heated gloves I have, my camo pants, my helmet, uh, all my gear, all my stuff, leather jackets, I always include links in the description and comment section of my video or my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, my gear, and those are a bunch of links to all of my gear. And if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, my videos, and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1250 plus videos categorized in the various playlists so hopefully you can find something that will inform you entertain you hey hit thumbs up guys share this video comment that's why i do these videos i love talking with you guys what is your experience with the gopro hill 7 black mine is positive so far i like it keeps everything butter smooth except for at night it sucks uh, with hyper smooth but anyways don't forget to subscribe to my all over motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel Book at Moto!
showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything bug out moto. As a courtesy I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.